According to Dr. Campo, the university only purchases property if it is in a strategic position for the university and believes that the property purchases will benefit the students, especially with rental properties, but is mainly looking to downsize at the current time. Our priorities are generally just putting students first, so we're always thinking that first. And then secondly, we're looking at opportunity. Okay. We are not in the business of buying and selling properties per se, but we're always looking at our residential campus and ways that we can improve the campus. So I think that's just one of the things we're always considering. Ashland is not the largest property owner in the county, but did say that in terms of total buildings owned, Ashland would be in the running for the lead role in that aspect. I would say we probably own more buildings. You know, if you just yeah. write the total yeah. number of buildings, I would say we definitely would be number one. Dr. Campo did say if you are talking in terms of property value, the university is mainly opposed by the hospitals in town. We are not the largest property owner in the county, and honestly, I wouldn't even know. There are probably some private uh, folks yeah. with larger holdings, mm -hmm. but you know, I think a lot of it would depend on how you measure largest. If you if you talk about total value under the roof, I would mm -hmm. say there we might be. Campbell also noted that the school is not looking for satellite campuses such as the nursing campus, but are not opposed to acquiring them. While we are not aggressively seeking satellite campuses, we're certainly open and being wise about that potential. Campbell also made sure to note on the many improvements the university is doing to the library, Clayton, and the bridge this summer. It's, it's possible that you know, we start some work on the library cafe, complete Clayton Hall. We're working to get the bridge done as well over the summer, so that may be another one that will okay. take place over the summer. Be sure to keep up with further stories on AU Live.